Hey everyone, welcome back to another lecture. In this video, we're gonna be talking about bonds. So let's talk about what a bond is. A bond is a debt certificate, and more specifically, it's a promise that's made by some kind of entity. So this could be a company, a government, or another kind of organization. And that promise is to pay a certain amount of money plus interest on the stated maturity date. And for those of you guys that don't know, the maturity date is basically just the due date for the bond payment. And as a bond owner, you're basically just like a creditor for that government and organization that you're offering money, money to. So what is the purpose of a bond? So entities offer bonds in order to fundraise their current uh, operations and future expansions. And it's kind of like stocks uh, in the sense that they're both meant for financing, but bonds finance through debt and stocks finance through equity. So there are multiple different classes of bonds and the first one is called government bonds. And these can be broken up into three subcategories. So the first one is US saving bonds. The second is federal government bonds. And the third is state and local government bonds. So the first kind, U.S. savings bonds, um, they are amongst the safest investment, investment options for people that don't have a lot of money for investing. So the first kind is called a Series EE savings bonds. And basically, you purchase them at 50% of their face value or 50% of the money that's being borrowed. And then the redemption, which is how much you're paid back minus the pur purchase price, is your interest earned. And these bonds range from 50 to 10,000 bucks. And the second kind is called an I bond. And in these bonds, interest rates are relatively low and they vary with respect to inflation. So the next kind is called federal government bonds. And these consist of treasury bills, treasury notes, and any other kind of federal agency, agency issued bond. So treasury bills uh, have a maturation of anywhere between 91 days to a full year. And treasury notes have a maturity anywhere between one to 10 years and treasury bonds have a maturity anywhere from 10 to 30 years. And other federal agencies can issue bonds. So the Federal National Mortgage Association can issue bonds. The FHA can issue bonds and uh, Federal Loan Mortgage Corporation can issue bonds too and many other kinds of federal uh, agencies. And typically with these bonds, they have a higher interest rate than Treasury securities, but not by a whole lot. And the next kind is called a municipal bond. And these are the bonds that state and local governments issue. And they're known as munis for short. So there are two different kinds of municipal bonds. The first is kind called a general obligation bond. And these bonds are backed by credit and the respective government's taxing power. And in revenue bonds, the lender gets repaid with the income that like, comes from the project the lender agreed to finance. And the benefit of municipal bonds is that the interest that's accumulated by them is generally tax exempt. It's not always, but it is for most of the time. And the next kind of bond I want to talk about are foreign government bonds. And they're two different kinds. So there's external, which is meant for investors that are outside of the said country. And these bonds are paid with the currency that or from the country that the investor resides in. And internal bonds are targeted towards investors that are inside of the country the government resides over. And naturally, these would be paid with the country's respective currency. And the next kind of bond I wanna talk about is called corporate bonds. And as the name suggests, these are bonds that are issued by companies rather than governments. And there are four different kinds. So the first one's called a mortgage bond. And these are secured by property or any like other kind of asset. And collateral is included, but it's not limited to land, equipment, or any buildings. 
And it's the safer of the two. And when I say two, I mean mortgage and debenture bonds. And it's safer because it's collateralized. And debenture bonds are unsecured. And because of that, they're riskier. And callable bonds are bonds where the company can pay its debts off early, but they just have to do so at a specific price. And convertible bonds are bonds that can be exchanged for the said company's common stock. So you can convert between bond and stock. The next kind of bond I want to talk about is global company bonds. And this is where corporations can issue bonds in more than one country. And the companies that do this usually have high credit ratings and a very strong international reputation. And bonds are usually issued in the currency of that company's home country. So if Toyota were to issue global company bonds, they would do so with the Japanese yen because that's their home country's currency. And that's it for this lecture. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I'll see you in the next one.